Welcome to another free Microsoft Access video tutorial brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. My name is Richard Rost. In today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to calculate the monthly payment for a loan or mortgage. Now, I get asked how to do this all the time from my customers that are in finance or banking or just want to calculate the terms for their own loan or mortgage. And it's really quite simple to do if you know how to use one function. It's called the PMT function, and I'll show you how it works in just a second. But here's the basic table set up. I've got an ID field, pretty much a prerequisite for every table I build, a loan amount, currency, interest rate, a percentage, and the number of months. You can put number of years in there if you want to, but the PMT function likes the number of months, basically the number of payment periods, whether it's months or weeks or whatever you want to put in there. But I'm going to work with months. The table setup is quite straightforward. ID, long integer, auto number, loan amount to currency, interest rates a double, formatted as a percent, and number of months is a long integer. Now we could use a calculated table field for this in Access 2013. I personally don't use calculated fields and tables. I don't like them. Yes, there are some exceptions, but I like to use queries to do my calculations. So I'm going to save this table and head over and make a query. Create query design. I'm going to add my loan table to the query. Hit close. I'll bring in the asterisks so I have all those fields. And now we need to create a payment function using the PMT function. Now the PMT function needs three bits of information. It needs the annual interest rate, but you have to divide that by the number of payments per year because it's an APR. Next, number of total payments, so the number of months for example, and then the amount of the loan. How much are you financing? And for those of you who are curious, yes, this is the exact same PMT function that you'll also find in Excel. So I'll add this in as a calculated query field as monthly payment, payment, colon, PMT, the PMT function, open parenthesis. The first thing is the interest rate divided by 12. So interest rate divided by 12, comma. The next thing is the number of months, number of months, comma. And finally, the loan amount. Now, Access gives you the final monthly payment as a negative number because it figures it's a payment. You're sending money out. So I'm going to multiply that by negative 1 just so it flips it and makes the result positive. Press Enter. Let's save the query. I'll call this my PMTQ, my payment query. And now let's run it. And let's open this up. There we go. Maybe format that as currency, but you can see the right number is there. I'm going to sneak back over real quick and just right click, come down to properties, and I'm going to format this as a currency. Okay, let's save it again and run it, and there we go. $100,000 loan, 10% interest rate over 30 years, 360 months, eight seventy seven fifty seven a month. $5,000 loan, 5% interest rate over 12 months, 428 per month. Now this is great if you're going shopping for a loan and you want to try and compare different rates, for example. Like let's say it's the same amount but um, and, and the same percentage rate, but you want to decide whether to go with 30 years or 15 years. See, if you can swing that extra, what, $130 a month, you're going to save yourself a lot of interest in the long run. Now, if you want to calculate all that extra stuff, it's really just a matter of math. For example, let's say you want to calculate the total amount that you're paying. That's easy to do, right? Let's go back to Design View. Let's come over here. I know the total monthly payment, and I know how many months I'm paying for, so total payments is going to be the monthly payment times the number of months. Right? The monthly payment times the number of months. Save that and run it. And of course, format it as a currency. And look at that. Look at the difference there. Right? The total payments here come out to 315000 whereas the total payments in a 15-year mortgage comes out to 193000 there, I just formatted it as a currency. See the difference there? Huge difference 
if you can afford that little bit extra every month. Want to see what the interest you're paying is? Well, we know the total payments. We know the loan amount. Subtract the two, and that's how much interest you're paying total. Right? Back to design view. We'll say interest paid is the total payments payments minus the loan amount. All right? And, of course, format currency. Right? Format currency. Save it and run it. And look at that. Look at that difference in interest paid. For a little bit extra payment per month, you can save yourself a lot of money in interest. That's why they tell you also to, to pay as much extra you can every month toward paying off your balance, because it makes a huge difference over 15 years. So anyways, that's how you calculate the monthly payment. That one function, that's the hard thing. So all you have to know is how the PMT function works. Once you figure that out, everything else is just basic math. Now, if you're interested in learning more, I have a whole seminar on my website dealing with loans and what's called amortizations, where it breaks down every month of the payments, figures out the beginning balance, the ending balance, how much you're paying in principal versus interest for each payment. It allows you to track the payments made by the customer and apply them to both the regular payment and an extra amount to pay off the balance. You can work with different types of frequencies instead of just monthly, if you're going bi-monthly or quarterly. It's got several different reports you can print out, including a full loan schedule for the person getting the loan. It's got a complete client list with multiple clients. Each client's loan is listed here. You can add a new loan, open up an existing loan track different providers and the loans they have out, generate an accounts receivable, and lots more. This seminar covers lots of different material. It's over five hours long, and I show you how to build all of this in the videos. Plus, if you just want a simple loan amortization template, I have that available on my website as well. For more information on this seminar or the database template, Visit my website at accesslearningzone.com, search for the Loan Amortization Seminar, or click on the link in the description below the video here. You'll see the seminar covers calculating the loan payments, which I just showed you. That's a real short lesson. Create a complete amortization schedule, work with flexible loan terms, manage multiple loans per client and per loan provider, and generate reports such as an aged accounts receivable. There's a sample video right here on the website that goes through all the things that the seminar covers. Plus, you can download the sample database file and play with it on your own. And of course, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to send them to me or post them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.